G'day peoples. Got the uh, the phone in hand this time using the um, the back camera. Anyway, we've got this pin pointer thing all painted up like so. And if you can see how I've joined the wires, remember the, the green wire? I've just sold, soldered or soldered, whatever way you want to say that. Um, to the one of the red wires doesn't make any difference which one and you can see it, both of them are connected to the braid well the outside part of the coaxial cable and the other wire goes to the inner that's all there is to it so the black carbon stuff is connected with that uh, little bit of a little bit of green there that the um, the wires all frayed out underneath. You can see that in the previous video anyway. And uh, that's that. Now, I'll zoom out. It's looking a bit too big. Uh, I don't think I'll bother making a video about sticking it in the plastic tube. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And on the end of it there, what you do is you'd fill it up with um, non-acetic silicon in the tubing around here. Put a bit of cable in so um, it holds it pretty straight and if you put silicon in there it gives a lot of flex so it's a lot of bend you get a lot of radius you'll never break the wires if you um, locked it in tight and kept wiggling it it'd probably break and if you didn't stabilize it with silicon it would probably break so just um you know maybe an inch 25 mil of silicon into the tube and uh yeah that's that so you can make a shorter one of these. I don't know why you'd want to. Uh, what you do is use a shorter ferrite and uh, you do two windings on top of each other, make it a two layer coil and that would halve the size. But uh, with a longer one, it tends to give a bit uh, better depth, um, even on uh, um, small, small targets. So we'll turn it on anyway. We've got the, um, it's under 5,000 here and uh, we'll have a look at all our settings I think it's just in factory default so I'll turn him on okay it's in tracking uh, it's in mono as you can tell we got it in enhance deep and it's going to act like a normal mono coil in a noisy environment and pick up interference I have got the front gain uh, turned down on this oh, I can turn it right off there you go it's still going to pick up a bit of noise because it's, um, it's acting like a mono coil. So, anyway, there it is. Try it on the battery on Enhance. Even, even on zero gain, the detectors crank right back. Uh, it's not a problem. Small bit of gold. Gee. Anyway, like I say, it's on pretty close to zero gain. Well, it is zero gain. <laughs> it's minus 10 dB. Actually, you remember last time we put it in to cancel? Let's see if it works in cancel. Still, this is rather bizarre why it works in cancel, but uh, not with no gain. It won't work, so I'll turn the gain up. About there, somewhere in about normal gain. So... does work turn it flat out on gain it's in cancel so it's not going to pick up much interference it's not really meant to pick up in cancel but it does we'll put it into normal normal mode in cancel see what that does Still a tiny bit of gold. And we'll use something more like something you'd actually dig a big hole for. OK, 
Okay, I'll turn all that down. And uh, hot rock. Little bit of a response, probably ground balancing on that. It'll be gone. Um, we'll put it back on. I put it on double D. Not that it's only using one channel now. We'll see if we can track out the hot rock. Okay. Well, that's in normal. That's pretty good. And, wow. And the biggest trick of all, can you put your hand on it without it sounding off? Not a problem. Doesn't care less. That's how you tell if your shielding is working. So no, no sound off. Uh, put that in the tube. Um, probably shorten the end of that a little bit too, make it a little bit more sensitive on the, on the small gold. Just again on this bit here, just so. Uh, you know, you don't get confused on how to do that. There you go. So the, the green the green wire, it's just a little bit of insulation left on the wire. Uh, it's um, under the tape. See, I've, I've taped over. I painted it. Then I put um, one turn of masking tape around it. Then I painted um, the masking tape again with the uh, um, Y-Shield. Um, 54 so I did stick my fingers around in here um, to see if there was any interaction there's nothing normally you could actually um, put masking a tape around or electrical insul insulation tape around the wire here around this one and then you'd put uh, masking tape onto um, uh, multi multi dextrous here here we go onto here and continually wind it down onto the cable but it doesn't need it you know it's not um you know something that you need to do if a normal type of coil you would do that you would uh, cover those bits in shielding but uh, it doesn't seem to care less um, and because of the way it would be in a tube anyway and you know, it's a good distance from that to the outside of the tube through the plastic to anyone's hand and it's not going to make any interaction so how's that that's a cheap high power pin pointer now what i might do um i've still got the other ferrite rod here because i bought two of them which i was just showing on uh, that one how to how to wind it i might wind up this one identical to the other one and I'm going to co-phase them and I'm going to see if I can actually run it um, on double D cable or oh, actually no I'll use mono cable and I'll, I'll co-phase them on the mono cable uh, like out of phase um, on, on the cable in series I just want to see this is just an experiment to see what sort of spacing I have to get between the two ferrite rods uh, to get cancellation effect but still have enough offset to get a response on a metal target. This could be very interesting. Uh, and depending how I set it up and what I actually do, there's probably a couple of configurations in that. Uh, and also I could use a double D type cable and feed them to the, uh, to the detector um, in phase, out of phase, and then you could uh, utilize a cancel switch if they're in phase to put them out of phase or uh, put it in cancel to put it um, the out of phase back into phase. Oh, there you go. That's a bit of a tongue twister. But you can, you can, um, depending how you wind the two coils, the cancel switch will actually do the opposite uh, to the phasing you've got out on the cables. So you can just flip 
flip phase um, on the uh, RX line. So you can have it in phase or out of phase, and then you can do some experiments. So that's a big, long ferrite that gives a lot of um, a lot of field, um, a lot of uh, directional field, having that big, long one. You can do it on a short one. And so, who was it? Uh, Mezcal sent me some comments. If you have a look at the comments um, in the uh, video before this one, and he uh, says that he made up um, a, sh a, sh a shielding material uh, from carbon batteries. So he's actually done that. And uh, yeah, you can probably ask him if you want. You can get in there in the comments and ask him how he did it. He'll probably tell you. Uh, yeah, so that's that. That's um, one big black sausage done. It's uh, an absolute uh, ripper, that one. It's very, very sensitive. Oh, it picks, picks up 0 0.05 easy too. So um, pretty easy, straightforward to make. I don't think I need to waffle on about it anymore. Um, it's getting time. I'm going to get a knock on the door in a minute. And I've got Mr. Uber bringing around some uh, Indian curries. We're going to see what they're like. Anyway. There we go, I'll just uh, upload this. So this will be the part three. If you really wanna know how to put in a plastic tube, you can leave it in the comments, but I don't think, I think that's very self-explanatory, sticking it in a piece of uh, white plastic plumber's um, tubing and uh, just putting an end cap on it, wrap some uh, foamy stuff around it, you know, anything uh, to hold it in place, stick it in the tube, Bung a little bit of silicon around the end of it to hold the wire in there as well, the cable. And uh, away you go. So anyway, catches.